Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running RetroArch in Docker, because why not? To begin, connect to the device where we're going to install Docker. We'll start by installing a few prerequisite packages required to install Docker. Then we'll add the Docker GPG key and app repository. Now using apt install, we'll install docker, docker compose, and container d. With the docker packages installed, we'll set the docker service to be started and enabled. Add the current user to the docker group. Then re-authenticate the current user for the group change to take effect. We're now ready to start running containers. We'll start by creating a working directory to store our ROMs in. Place ROM files in this directory before continuing. Then using the docker run command, we'll create our RetroArch container. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the docker host, colon 8080. Click the vnc.html link. Click connect, then enter password1 as the password. Welcome to RetroArch, running containerized in docker. From here, you can use the online updater to configure RetroArch as normal. I'll update the core info files and assets, then install an NES core just to demo the ROM I copy. Back at the main menu, go to load content, then navigate to the slash ROMs directory to select the ROM you'd like to play. I'm not sure how practical this is, but it's interesting to see that it's possible, and it does run pretty well. 